Hi friends, today we'll learn about OSD functions in MX CCTV cameras. OSD stands for on screen display. An OSD is a control panel attached to the power and video cord of the CCTV camera that allows you to select viewing options and or adjust components of the display such as brightness, contrast, shutter speed, privacy, etc. The OSD function comes with a central button with which you can select the options in the menu by scrolling it up, down, left or right. And in case to select any particular option in the menu, just press the central button. Let's see the various options in the menu of the OSD function. We have lens, exposure, white balance, backlight compensation, day and light, special and reset. Let's see the first option, that is the lens. In lens we have two options, automatic or manual. Setting the lens to manual is best suited for indoor applications where the lighting level is controllable and consistent. For external use where conditions generally vary the most, an automatic lens offers the best performance as the iris aperture automatically adjusts to create the optimum image. In the exposure option, we have the option to change the shutter speed what is a shutter speed? Imagine a camera taking many still snapshots per second in order to create an animation. More snapshots per second would result in a smoother and more detailed video. That means a fast shutter speeds are good for capturing fast moving objects. If we want to view fast moving objects and avoid motion blur, we need a fast shutter speed. Shutter speed is how long the shutter stays open. The longer it stays open, the more light that comes through the lens and onto the film. In short, fast shutter speed is equal to darker image where slow shutter speed gives us brighter image. Here, with slow shuttering and so a longer captured period, motion blur makes it impossible to see the movement of the wheels clearly. As we shorten the shutter times, the motion blur is reduced and so we can see every detail. A short shutter time is very useful in situations like this where we have a static camera and there is a lot of fast motion across the screen. A short shutter time is also useful when the camera is been panned across a row of static objects. If we capture this shot with long shutter time, it is impossible to read number plates. When we record the scene with shorter shutter time as here, the details are far clearer. But fast shuttering can cause problem of its own because its short capture time reduces the amount of light that is available to form the image. As the shutter time is increased, we can provide more light for the camera, enabling observers to may have far more detailing of the scene, but if there was any rapid movement with this longer shutter time, the image would immediately become blurred. As you can see, when you are producing an operational requirement, it's important to determine the right shutter speed. This will depend on the lighting conditions and on the speed of the motion that is necessary to observe. If a high shutter speed is essential, you may need to consider an additional illumination in order to maintain picture quality. Now the term AGC stands for Automatic Gain Control. That is, for better performance in low light conditions, the AGC can be increased from the standards. This has the effect of making the picture brighter. However, it may also add more noise to the picture as it is amplifying all aspects of the video signal. The next option in the menu is automatic white balance. 
This feature automatically adjusts the color temperature of the camera image to match the type of light available so that white and other colors appear as natural as possible. In white balance option, you have auto tracking white balance 1, auto tracking white balance 2. These are pre-programmed auto tracking white balance settings. Next you'll see is auto tracking white balance set. To set white balance using this option, you need to point the camera at a white object. Make sure it fills as much as screen as possible. Then click the mini joystick. The camera will reproduce colors using the color you presented as a baseline. The next option is the backlight compensation. Backlight compensation function makes objects in front of a bright scene such as a window on a bright sunny day clear to see by increasing their brightness and making the background darker. There are three settings for backlight option. First is off that means no compensation. Second is HLC. Some thieves and unsavory individuals have learned that you can momentarily disable some CCTV cameras by shining bright lights directly at the camera lens. HLC is one of the several methods developed to combat this threat. When HLC is active, it will mask the source of the bright light with the dark shape, thus allowing the area to the side of the light source to be viewed and recorded. The next option is the day and night function. For this, the camera comes with IR LED lights, that's the infrared light that is not visible to the human eye. When there's no light or very low light, the infrared light helps in capturing image in such conditions. In day and night function, there are three options. Auto, that is it automatically detects that there's no light or low light. Second is black and white. In black and white, even when there is enough light, the image appears in black and white. Third is the color which is similar to auto. The next category is called special in the USD function. Cam title function is used for naming the camera. This is specially used when you have different cameras attached to the monitor and you want to identify or distinguish between these cameras. The cam title appears at the bottom of the screen. Next is the motion option. This sub menu allows the user to create up to four different motion detection zones, each one with their own parameters. You can adjust the height and width of each motion detection zone. If you just want one motion detection zone, you can go to area select, select the area that you don't want, then go to area state and turn it off. Next feature in the special option is called as privacy. In privacy, you can select up to six areas that you want to mask. Privacy masking is a feature that allows you to blur or completely block certain areas seen on the monitor within the field of view of the camera. You may need to do this in order to protect sensitive material from being shown but not at the expense of losing valuable surveillance footage. The zones that are blocked are usually just that blocks or solid rectangles that can stay in place even if the camera is moving or zooming. If you want to remove a particular mask, select the area, for example area 3. Go to area state and turn it off. The mask will disappear. Yeah. 
For a particular mask, you can also adjust the height and width as per need. You can also change the color if needed. Next category in the special function of the OSD is the image adjustment option. This submenu provides all the standard image adjustment features normally found in the CCTV cameras. For example, mirror. This flips the video image on the horizontal plane. Font. Let's the user select a font color for OSD menu selection. Contrast and sharpness. Using this, one can adjust the video contrast and sharpness. Negative image. It creates a photographic negative image of the video. If you want to go back, press the return button. If you want to reset your setting, go to reset, factory, press the center button.